Sunday night on News 8, he climbed the mountains of Peru, sailed the Caribbean, posed a president, and did we mention the hundreds of gorgeous models? This is Sybil, my friend. News 8's Kevin Doran introduces you to a Kodak legend paid to travel the world. I couldn't have asked for a better job. And see how a happy accident with slides led to a whole new form of art. Sunday night after CSI, only on News 8, the team you can trust. Now we want you to meet Neil Montanus. You have seen his pictures, and tonight you'll meet the legendary Kodak photographer. Montanus has done it all or at least thought he had until a recent discovery, which he is sharing with us only on eight. Neil Montana spent 35 years traveling the world for Kodak. I couldn't have asked for a better job, a more exciting job. He took pictures at the bottom of oceans and at the top of mountains. You had to be in good shape, be up at 10 or 12,000 feet and working. And I had a couple of models and they, they, they couldn't take it. They had to go back down. Walt Disney liked his portrait so much, he used that sketch pad to draw Neil a Mickey Mouse, and he signed it. And though I got that beautiful picture, but I can't lay my hands on it right now. It's kind of lost. President Ford asked Neil to come to the White House. When he came in, I, my knees were actually trembling. I, the President of the United States in the Oval Office. <laughs> Oh, my God. And there were hundreds of models, like Sybil Shepard. Was she a nice young lady to work with? Oh, she was beautiful, and she was very cooperative. At the end of his trips, Neil always came home to Greece. His house is a museum, a history of his life's work. Every room full of pictures used in Kodak advertising. He shot more of the giant coloramas than anyone else. This legendary Kodak photographer always had a camera in his hands. His son Jim says dad was especially busy during the holidays. Like on Christmas morning, I mean, can you, can you imagine running down to, to open up your presents and then he, he had lights set up and everything and he was taking 16 millimeter film. You say, okay, kids, let's do it again. Go, go on back, you know. I put the slides back here, not knowing it was quite humid. Now, this 87-year-old's passion but, um, for yeah, photography yeah, has been reignited because of a discovery he made in his basement. Up. Years ago, in a dark corner, he stored a carousel of slides he'd taken. There, that's where I put them, down there. They were hidden because old newspapers were piled on top. I forgot all about these slides, and I finally said, wow, I wonder what this is. When Neil pulled the slides out of that old carousel, he was shocked. That's really transporting me. There's something beautiful. Bacteria had eaten into the gel on the slides. I was bowled over. I just, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I just, is this the picture that I took? And I couldn't believe that, that the beauty of this thing had been transformed into something else. I could feel his excitement. I mean, he was really, really, really excited about the bacteria prints. Montanus calls them bacteria photographs. Nothing like this has been seen before. The tiny organisms created a kaleidoscope of bright colors that burst over Neil's original photos in extraordinary patterns. Mind bending, mind exploding, mind expanding natural art. Well, it gives me a high, for one thing, and when I saw these bacteria pictures, that was like the best thing that ever happened to me. I couldn't believe that I had these pictures in my possession. Neil has had one show already and hopes to show his bacteria photos to even more people. It was so wonderful, I just can't stop talking about it. So it turns out Neil Montanus didn't have to travel the world to find perfect pictures. All he had to do was go down to the basement. And you can see more of Neil Montanus' work by going to rochesterhomepage.net. Just click on News and look for this story.